Hi, I'm Mathilde Rufnat, the author of Chopin Cook. I'm going to show you a few things about the software. The first thing you will want to do when you start using Chopin Cook is add your own recipes. To type a recipe into Chopin Cook, click first on the new button. This is the recipe wizard. Here you can type your recipe, but I have prepared one in advance in the clipboard that I paste here by clicking on the click button. When you input a recipe, you should make sure that the title of the recipe is alone on the first line and the remaining of the recipe below. Click OK. Now the software works to recognize the ingredients. Usually, Chopin Cook does a very good job recognizing the ingredient, but here I've chosen a recipe where it doesn't recognize some ingredients to illustrate the three cases that can occur. Here we are in the recipe editor and see for example that the ingredient Thai bird chili has not been correctly recognized. To correct it, I click on the line and click on the magic one button. Here we have the possibility to add Thai bird chili to the dictionary. I click yes. And I can link it to a similar ingredient in the database, in this case bird chile, that is equivalent. Software asks me if we want always that Thai bird chile is considered as equivalent to bird chile. I click yes. Now, the second ingredient to fix is poblano. We repeat the procedure, click on poblano line and on the magic one button, and select to add poblano to the dictionary. But this time there isn't an equivalent ingredient in the database. So I click on the database button to add it to the database as a new grocery item. Poblano is a vegetable similar to bell pepper. So I'm going to add it after in the vegetable category after the peppers. And click on OK to save the new grocery item. This way, Chopin Cook will be able to recognize correctly Poblano the next time. We'll repeat the operation for the third ingredient that must be corrected, toasted cumin crema. Actually, toasted cumin crema is not an ingredient but a reference to another recipe. So we don't want to add it to the database of grocery item. So here we click simply No. And here I finish fixing the recipe and click OK to save it. In another tutorial, I will show you how to get accurate nutritional and costing analysis and how to make the software recognize toasted cumin crema as a recipe.